Did you guys know that YSG is one of the most used commander in Rise of Kingdoms? Do you have YSG currently in your commander's list? If you do, let me know in the comment section if you are still using YSG and what is your best pair that you are doing with YSG. Now the question here today is YSG still available to use in 2023 as there is a lot of commanders now in rise of kingdoms can ysg still compete with all of these other commanders that has been released in rise of kingdoms so today let's talk about ysg why he is still able to be used in rise of kingdoms because of the museum buff the museum buff allows ysg to be more powerful if you unlock the museum, you can get the museum buff in here. So you see YSG, I have unlocked him. He has archer defense plus 20%, skill damage plus 5%. Now, if we increase that, now that is also the max level here for the relics. Now, if you add the first level, you're only going to get archer defense plus 10% and skill damage of 3%. Since I have two levels in here with the relics, I am getting 20% and as well as 5% into the skill damage. This allows YSG to be better in the field to fight against your opponents. YSG or Yi Song Ye has that ability now to tank slightly, having that archer defense and still provide a lot of damage with this 5% skill damage. Now let's review YSG skills and we're also going to talk about why kind of pairings you can do here in 2023 and what I have been doing here as well in Rise of Kingdoms with YSG combinations. Now YSG is a very simple commander that you can get in the early stages of the game. A lot of the free to plays will get YSG and YSG I highly recommend for everyone who is still starting here in 2023 to get Yi Song Ye and max out this commander because this commander is really really great it has an aoe skill damage so let's bring out ysg in here right the purpose for ysg with the skills in here you can do great things with it if you have a richard and you do a let's say five five one one richard so you can do a this thing called um barbarian chain so let's bring out our richard in here let me show you how to do Barbarian Chains. Let's bring him out somewhere where there is a cluster of Barbarians. So let's bring him out over here. And while we're, they are marching, let's review the skills of YSG. YSG has a fan shape area. If this is not maxed out, it is going to target three units. But if we max the commander out in here, we are then going to get um, five enemy troop in a circle shape area. And we are going to deal a lot of damage with a 17 100 damage factor ysg also has ability to restore its rage it has a 10 percent chance to grant 100 rage and then you also have a archer attack bonus of 100 percent for the next three seconds now let's talk about the third skill here this skill is great it helps your city and garrison troop and watchtower to gain 10% increased attack. So it says your garrison watchtower attack bonus. So if you are garrisoning a structure, a holy site or a flag or a fortress or your city, you are going to get that extra 10% bonus. What's great about this is that YSG is AOE. In the early stages of the game, if you're using YSG, they are not very uh, pro on their movement. So there are going to be ones that are going to hover around the structure and pretty much die because of the AOE damage of YSG. And if you and if you have an expertise, you are going to get that circular damage area effect, which is going to lead to more deaths to your enemies. Now, the last skill here, it is going to grant 50% skill damage bonus that increases the primary skill of YSG and also help increase skill damage of whatever commander that you're going to pair with YSG as well. The last skill just pretty much does is that it makes it a little bit stronger onto the firepower here and also make it a circular AOE. So as we are marching in here with our units, you can see, all right, let's actually go over here. Um, you will see what I'm talking about with the circular AOE, and you can also see how to do barb chaining. So you can see um, by having YSG, it's not only that you can succeed in combat, in PvP, but you can also use YSG in a PvE situation. He is one of the best commander in Rise of Kingdoms, and I think everyone should really have YSG. 
Regardless, if you are a big spender or you are a free-to-play, YSG is something that is um, essential to your success in Rise of Kingdoms. All right, so let's go attack this. This is how you do uh, basically chaining. All right, you're basically saving action point from doing this, and then we're going to drag it over here. You can see YSG is going to have that circular AOE. Boom. Now, two of them have been targeted in here in the battlefield, and now you are then... Um, saving up action point. All right. Now, I also do this a lot in the combat, which we're also going to talk about some of the pairings, but let me just show you um, what I did in here in the battle reports. So um, you can see here when we did our battle reports in here, uh, we had our Budica and we have our YSG in here. And we did a great job in here by hitting all the targets in here as well. You can see we did some AOE damage there because of YSG in the battlefield. So as you can see, some of them, I took some AOE from other heroes, from other commanders in here. So if we take a look into uh, the battle data here, you can see that we gained a lot of kill points because of YSG's ability to fight in the combat. And of course, we paired it up with a really meta archer commander as well. Um, let's talk about um, pairings that you can do. Now, in the early stage, in pre-KVK, um, or Season 1, I should say, you will have YSG. Uh, most people will probably do a Tutmos and then YSG, but since this is not applicable to me, I'm not doing Tutmos, but early game, uh, a lot of players, a lot of whales would use Tutmos. But if you are free to play, there are other combos that you can do, which I did when I first started into the game. Start working with your epic commanders. So um, you can even do a Zun 2 and then YSG. You can run it with infantry or you do a YSG with Zun 2, run it with archers. Um, you can do a Herman with YSG or YSG Herman. You can also do a Kosunoki, which is also another commander that does AOE as well. This is a fan shape area. Um, another combo that you can do very, very early into the game if you are a spender. Uh, most people that I've seen is they even do a Minamoto, which if you purchase Minamoto um, in the game, you can do a Minamoto and YSG. In the succeeding progression, you can even do, uh, once you get Genghis Khan, where is Genghis Khan? You can do Genghis Khan and YSG. We've seen this a lot in our, um, in our um, gaming. You can do Eight of Lead, YSG. Uh, we, we just seen Richard with YSG. We've seen Martel with YSG. Pretty much any combinations that you can do here with your setup, you can pair it up. Pretty much any commander in Rise of Kingdoms can pretty much work with YSG. Eventually, you will get more archers, and um, I don't really recommend Edward of Woodstock, but if you do end up getting Edward of Woodstock, you can do Edward and YSG. I like Ramses and YSG. I think this is the best optimal pair for YSG, besides getting once you have Budiga. Budiga is really good for YSG. Um, if you are calves, you can definitely use YSG. If you're um, infantry, you can also use YSG. Um, another combo that people do is Alexander the Great with YSG. But for the most part, if you're short with a commander, you don't know who to pair it with, just pair it with YSG. It will definitely work out well. You can even do a Zargon the Great with YSG as well, if you really like as well in here. Because when you are dealing skill damage, this commander troop has a 50% chance to inflict stack of odd. So, you know, with YSG's circular AOE, it can definitely help out a lot as well. So primarily for me, what I've been doing with YSG is that I am using YSG with Ramses. Um, you know, you can do even an Artemisia and YSG. Um, but for the most part, um, in my combat, when I'm fighting in the ruins, as you guys have seen some of the battle reports, we are doing a Boudica and YSG because in the ruins, you can only bring in one um, commander. And, you know, with that one commander, you want to maximize it. So we did a lot of battles in here with YSG as the secondary, although it makes it a little bit um, weaker, not as tanky even though we are getting that plus 20%. But the main goal here for me is try to get as much kills as I can and get a lot of DPS. So try to avoid um, cavalry if you see them in the battlefield. But if you see some infantry, you can definitely uh, fight against the infantry in here. But really avoiding the cavalry as much as possible if you can and deal a lot of the AoE. Um, try to be... Um, field smart and not try to lead in charge into battle in here. So you can see we fought against our opponent here within the ruins and we had some great results so far. Um, of course, there are some situations where we did not succeed and some situation where we failed. So as you can see, 
with some of the reports in here. Uh, when we target infantry, we actually do really well. I've actually changed a lot in here with Burika and Neb as well. Um, let's find more YSG in here. Mm, like this one is uh, Burika YSG. So you can see, really avoid, you know, Nevsky. If you see Nevsky and more calves in here, there's a lot of calves that we were facing. So kind of avoiding against the calves is really great um, option to do. But that one is not really that well of a report. So here is another combo that I did. Ramses and YSG, as I've mentioned. You can also do this one. Um, the key thing in here is being able to cast YSG's um, skill and able to hit everyone in here in a circular damage area. Now, if you look into my stats in here for YSG, I have actually done 45 million kills. Now, I don't know for those who are OG players in here about your YSG kills. Uh, you can feel free to share them in the comment in here to see. Um, I've also accumulated a lot of kills for Barbarians as well with YSG. So just keep in mind, YSG is a hero that is still worth it in 2023 to get. He is still viable to use for any of the commanders in Rise of Kingdoms. So go ahead and still work on your YSG. Make sure to max it out so that you can get the benefit of the circular AoE in Rise of Kingdoms. So YSG is definitely a hero here that is worth investing. Anyway, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.